Hi, I'm Petty Officer Michael Wilkin here with Ludacris at the Fort Meade Pavilion for the tour for the troops. Ludacris, thank you so much for joining us. I Thanks appreciate it. Yeah. How low can you go? Lower than your mama's ever seen it in a lifetime. Get right into it. How do you feel about doing stuff like this, performing for the troops? Man, you all are the ones that go to war for this country, you know, protect individuals like myself. No words can explain how great I feel to be able to give this service back to you all and perform and you know, I'm just here, I'm here for you Well, personally, for me, um, your playlist, or my, work, my workout playlist has, right. well, half, half of it is your songs. That is exactly why I do what I do. I will continue to make everybody proud, but I mean, just the fact that I can motivate individuals in order to do your job, that makes, that's exactly why I do what I do. I may not want to get low, so I post it up, kind of like a play to do, but if you come to the crib, then I might show you girls a thing or two. Battle of the Sexes is your seventh studio release. You took a different direction with it than a lot of your other stuff. Yeah, man, once you get to your seventh album, you know, you just have to continue trying to reinvent yourself and do different things. And with Battle of the Sexes, I just kind of wanted it to get the male and the female perspective on both ends and just go back and forth. And I think I accomplished that. And I'm really happy with the work and everybody that supported it. So and now we're moving on to album number eight, which will be Ludiversal. So I'll give you some more info on that soon. I'm gonna start recording it. Where do you think you've progressed from back for the first time in 2000 to your albums now, what kind of progression do you think you've made as well as the hip hop industry in general? Well, you know, art imitates life. So I, I can just basically say I've grown from experience and just everything that I've been through. I think every album kind of reflects on what is going on in my life at that time and just me having fun at the same time. And this is not the first time that you've performed for the troops. Um, this is something that you've done for the last four, five, six years. Man, I'm, I'm definitely one of those people that feel like with great power comes great responsibility. So I know I have a responsibility. Uh, I like to lead by example. Not only do I like to give back, like I said in you know, your first question in terms of performing for the troops, but I also like to set an example for individuals and shed light and let them know how important it is that we, that we give back to you guys because you do so much for us. Is there something you'd like to say to the men and women serving overseas, protecting our freedoms right now? Man, I think I'm gonna say uh, over an hour's worth on stage when I perform tonight, but for those who do not get a chance to see the performance, man, thank you from the bottom of my, of my heart, and I'll continue doing my job in, in terms of motivating you to do yours. Thanks, Louis Chris. I appreciate it. Yeah. And if you want to check out this or any of our other command performance, just head online to pentagonchannel.mil.